Hi Christchurch, my name is Allie Kovach and I'm here to take you through a day with me in college. I currently attend Bowling Green State University in Toledo, so not too far from Cleveland and I'm currently on the golf team as well. So my days can kind of be pretty hectic, which will be kind of fun to show you guys what I do with lifting and golfing and homework and classes, but then also kind of working God into my everyday life, which is so much fun. So. I'm really excited to take you on the day with me, and I did wake up at 6.42 this morning, but I am recording this now to tell you a little bit more about myself, and yeah, I'm so excited. Here's our workout. Here's Savannah <laughs> and McKenna, my lifting partners. Or her favorite Bible verse. Okay, my favorite Bible verse is 2 Timothy 1 7. For God does not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and self discipline. Love it. Just got back from Lyft and just finished getting ready, and I kind of wanted to show you guys something I'm doing this week. So, after watching Doc preach this past Sunday, February 4th, um, he said focus on a virtue for the week, so he recommended being reasonable with everyone and so that's what I'm doing I put a little sticky note on my mirror Kind of hard to see it backwards, but just kind of remind me every day to be more reasonable with everybody and treat people the way Jesus would And so now my boyfriend Tom is gonna come over and we're gonna do a little Bible study We're starting the book of Mark so we're gonna watch the Bible project and then kind of read through the first chapter and kind of see and it'll be fun to get to spend time with Jesus and look through his life. Okay, so I currently got this study Bible and it kind of tells me what each chapter means and got it off Amazon and it's really nice when reading the Bible front to back. We just finished our Bible study, now Tom has to head to class, and then I'll do some homework. Okay, so I like to kind of spend my morning super slow when I get a chance. Normally during the week I'm pretty busy, but today I've been able to devote a lot of time to God, which has been amazing. So I just did a little bit of homework, and then I started reading my devotional. Um, it's called Strong by Lisa Be Bevere. I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but it's amazing. I'm kind of... Let me see what part I'm on. I just read a section about worship. Now I'm on strong and purity. And it's just a really good way to like start off my day and kind of get into the right mindset. Um, so so me and two of my friends, one of them is my roommate, are starting to watch Passion. We've watched the first night and then the first session. Today we're going to watch the second one, which will be amazing. And then we're also going to paint these little crosses that we found. So I'm super excited to do that. And yeah, let's go do that. There's the setup. Got the crosses from Dollar Tree. And then Kayla put out some of these. They're the best. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm Allie's roommate. And my favorite Bible verse is Psalm 139.14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Hi, I'm Emily. I am Allie's teammate. And my favorite Bible verse is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Okay, so Sav and I are now walking to class. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> She's so excited. We like to laugh. We do. We like to, we like to laugh and giggle. We do. A little too much. Make jokes. Yeah. And then get to class and sleep. 
No, we don't do that. No, because we love Professor We love Dewey. Professor Dewey. We're going to our favorite professor ever. So, oh, this is awesome. um, just say three things you're grateful for right off the bat. Okay, all right. <laughs> just, just randomly. Uh, I'm grateful that we get to wake up early and go to Lyft because that kind of motivates us in the morning. It does. I'm not lazy. I get mm -hmm. up early. Um, I'm grateful for my family. They're always supporting me and they have my back. And then I'm also grateful for my teammates because we just love to like have a good time. Mm -hmm and enjoy what we got and all the opportunities ahead of us. That was amazing. That was fantastic. All right. PR train. We know. We know. We're, we're used to this. Okay. We just got back from class. We did a fantastic job. We did really good. And now we're going to watch some TV and eat. And then we have to go to practice, which is so exciting. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Sorry. Sav gets very excited, especially for practice and class. Okay, so I just got to practice. Here is when you walk into the facility. Some hidden bags. And the track man, which is our favorite. And then the crew is over here. Okay, so we just finished practice. We got Qdoba for dinner. We treated ourselves. And practice was good. And then we gotta head home. So I'm back home for the day. Working on some homework. We've got some really interesting stuff. We've got some strategic alternatives for UGG, the shoes, you know, the brand, which is so fun. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit longer and then hopefully Tom will stop back over. And yeah, we'll see. Okay, so Tom came by. So we're gonna do a little bit of nighttime reading. He's got his Bible. And then I started reading Know Your Why. Well, we've been reading it for a while, but um, it's called Know Your Why by Ken Costa. And it's about finding your reason and fulfilling kind of your calling from God. So yeah. So I always make it a goal of mine to say a prayer every night and I have created a prayer board to help me with that. Um, it kind of helps me like guide through, work through everything. So like right here, I kind of thank God first and then pray for my family, my friends, and then my relationship. And it just has a lot of good stuff on there. Like one of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard is, there is nothing more beautiful than someone who makes life more beautiful for others. And I just feel like being Christian and, you know, God's grace with everything, like, it just really stood out to me. And it's just a great way to live every day by focusing on how you can make life more beautiful for others. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. I'm about to go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and just kind of watching my everyday routine and kind of how I include God into the busy schedule and my not-so-busy schedule. So, um, it was such a great day, and I hope you guys have a great week.